So that's anyway, right. that's what I today's uh, train wreck of the week um, is really great. It's about um, a client of mine. He's been a client for quite some time. And he owed the IRS about $155,000, $155,000 in change. And um, he's actually a firefighter in Tampa. And he does a little bit of real estate investing on the side. And so he came to me. We got him all caught up and filed and, and whatnot. And we filed what's called an offer and compromise. An offer and compromise is where you make a deal to settle for less with the IRS. And it based on some relatively simple math that I won't go into right now. But we offered in this case $1,240 for a $155,000 liability because that's how the math worked out. And that would have been an absolutely screaming deal. I mean, that's like something like... One percent or something, a little bit less than one percent. Well, that offer took about because he's self-employed. It ended up taking at least a year before um, the IRS uh, worked on it. The IRS called us and uh, had some questions. We had to have um, this client actually had to file a 2015 tax return, and lo and behold, he experienced the phenomena that John is experiencing right now. Once he gave the case to me. He started feeling better, and he started performing better in his self-employed gig. That I want to know how a firefighter time. is self-employed and owes money. Well, because the firefighter is going to work shifts that are something like 15 days a right. month because they work 24-hour shifts. So he's got a bunch of time Other left jobs. over where he can do real estate investing uh, okay. and whatnot. So once he kind of had that monkey off his back, he started making more money. And so long story short... We had to increase the offer amount. It ended up, it's been recommended for acceptance at this point in time, and it looks like it's going to settle for fifteen thousand five hundred and forty dollars, which is still right around ten percent. And uh, you know, one hundred and fifty to some thousand. That's yeah. Good. And I was telling him, you know, if you had come into my office and I told you, hey, we can sell this for ten cents on the dollar, you would have hugged my neck, give me a big fat kiss, and we would have been real happy. So. Hopefully he's really happy with that outcome. I think it's a fantastic outcome, and it's going to be able to. He's going to be able to put this behind him once and for all. 